So I recently got the question from Talking Buffalo Podcast that asked, got a question. For the Sony 35 millimeter that you rave about, how many feet or inches are you from the tip of the lens when you're recording? It looks great and I wanna replicate it, but wanna make sure I'm not significantly closer to my camera than you are or further away, thanks. This is a fantastic question and I wanna dive into that and show you what the difference is from like a 16 millimeter to a 30 millimeter punch in and why I love the Sony 35 millimeter lens. The reason why the Sigma 16 is so well raved is because one, it's sharp, it looks great. It's at an F 1.4 that'll give you a blurry background. If you're new to lenses and all of this, an F 2.0, especially on like APS-C sensor size cameras, like the ZV-E 10, A6400, A6600 that I'm shooting on, anything F 2.0 or lower will give you the blurry background. The Sigma 16 does a lot of things well. So I can be where the distance I am right now, which is two and a half feet from the tip of the lens to where I'm sitting here. It doesn't seem like it's that far away. And I've even sat closer where I'm at an arm's length away. And then at that point, you're maybe at a foot or less, and that will be great and still give you a wide angle shot. You can't do that with the 35 millimeter here. I actually am going to punch in and show you with this lens, how close you would be if you had it positioned where I have it right now. So this is my Sony 35 millimeter lens. It's an F 1.8, really small, nice, uh, compact lens. And I've had this since 2019 and I've used it literally every day since then. But I want to show you the difference between like 16 millimeters and 35 millimeters. Is that, if I was to go from here, which is 16 at two and a half feet, when I punch all the way in. So this is with the 35 millimeter F 1.8 tripod hasn't moved and like it just completely repositions the framing because it's not wide enough. So I would need to back it up and reposition things. And even then it would be a pretty tight fit. So you can work through it, but the way that this lens works, it's not for being pretty close to the lens. You actually want some distance between the lens and yourself. So you would need at least four feet from your camera so even like now I'm like literally at the back of the wall, I would need at least four feet in front of me at the tip of the lens in order for that distance to make sense. So this is not a lens that you want for where you're very, very close, where you only have about a two and a half feet or less distance, or you have it attached to your desk. Because at that point, this is just like face autofocus central and it's just really uncomfortable and kind of jarring. The 35 millimeter is a great lens and I'm gonna put it on there so you can see, but this is not for like close up things. It seems like it's close up, but it's actually pretty far. Even on my camera tripod, it is recessed into the closet so that there's a distance between the tip of the lens and myself where I'm sitting. And that way you're getting a similar kind of a framing but it takes way more distance to pull that off. So how do you know what lens you should get or what focal length? Most people, you'll hear them recommend the 50 millimeter lens. For most people that are on APS-C lenses, I advise against that. This is the equivalent of like a 50 millimeter lens on APS-C cameras. If you're on micro four thirds, you wanna drop that down to something like a 20 millimeters just because of the crop, which would be an F 2.0. Well, not an F 2.0, but a two times crop. What I always recommend is that to start with your kit lens. This isn't an insult to anyone or anybody trying to do anything. You literally need to use your kit lens. The reason why is because when you're going from one focal length to the other, you'll be able to put this on a tripod and figure out what actually makes the most sense for me with this setup. Is it best that I get a 20 millimeter lens? Is it best that I get a 16 or even a 12 millimeter lens? So your mileage may vary for what you need and in your use case. Now, because you have a Sony camera, you actually get the benefit of clear image zoom, which is exactly what I showed you when I punched in and I came in a little bit closer or when I go all the way wide. This is not punching in where in editing, you'll see that it kind of gets pixelated or not even pixelated, it just deteriorates the image a little bit, but you don't have to worry about that. You're cropping in on the sensor. And actually I recommend that you switch from 1080p to 4K. It's gonna give you a much sharper image. Can you still do the clear image zoom? Yep, but you can't do it at a two times crop. You can only do it at a 1.5 times crop. When you consider the math, when it comes to it, at 1080p, you can stretch it a little bit more, but at 4K, you can only go to 1.5 times crop without deteriorating the image. And the also cool thing with that is that this is at an F 1.4 right now, even though it's not a, like a lot of background behind me to actually blur, it will blur past me. The focusing point behind my shoulders on back will be blurred. And no matter how far I punch in, if you take a look over there, it stays the same. 
it doesn't matter. It's a fantastic system and setup when you talk about the clear image zoom with a prime lens like the Sigma 16 or the Sony 35 millimeter lens. So if you do want to get a setup and just make sure that it works, start with your kit lens, adjust and see where you'll fit at. And depending on where you, you know, tend to hover, something like the Sigma 16 will work well because you can go from 16 millimeters up to about a 32 millimeters using clear image zoom. And that way you only need to buy one lens. But if you want to take a look at some other lens options that I recommend for the Sony APS-C lineup of cameras, make sure you check out the video on the screen. I think you'll really enjoy it. And if you wanna see the Sigma 16, specifically how much space that you need, check out the other video on the screen. That one is really dope too.